Hi friend, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah if you're new here and my husband Charlie and I do all things tiny homestead and tiny house renovations and today we're going to be talking about the Bootstrap Farmer two and a half inch seed starting cups along with the tray that holds 32 of these cups in place. So the starting tray was $12.99, I believe. And the cups come in a big pack with all different colors. We've got green, orange, pink, purple, and it was $28 for these cups. So they fit right in. So there's no risking you losing everything if they get disturbed. In a video a couple weeks ago, I shared very affordable seed starting in these little cells that I got from Amazon. You get a whole pack of these for, I think it was 15 or $20. So this is what we started a lot of our seeds in. And we used this expanding cocoa core seed starting brick from Burpee. So this is like a very cost effective way. Another downside of these Amazon trays and using the cocoa core is that there is no nutrients in the cocoa core. So you're going to need to up pot them not only for space and for them to grow deep roots, but also for nutrients. You're gonna need a good seed starting mix that has a little bit of fertilizer and nutrients in there that they need. This one I left a little bit too long and you can see some of the leaves are turning yellow and that is usually an indication of a nitrogen deficiency and that's because they're looking for those nutrients that they need to grow bigger. You can up-pot them into the little disposable things that you can find at like one of your local nurseries or hardware stores or just recycle them from any transplants that you've bought in the past. And these are a great way to sell any if you have extra, these little packs, but these are very flimsy. These aren't what you're gonna wanna be using for your personal seed starting year after year. I mean, you can rinse them out, same with the trays I just showed you, but they're not very durable. After a little bit of wear and tear, they're gonna start to fall apart. They're just not as nice as the Bootstrap Farmer ones. So if you're looking for something that is going to last, I would suggest either the Bootstrap Farmer or the Burpee trays. Burpee has several that are some cute colors like blue and green and different sizes, and they're very durable. They're not gonna fall apart on you. You can use them year after year, so it's a one-time investment. I can't remember the exact specifications on these trays by Burpee, but this one that's a little bit smaller, this is gonna be for things like your chamomile, your herbs, some flowers do really well on this size. And then these can be good for tomatoes or squash, things like that that need a little bit more room and depth to get established. Feels like the rain's coming in, so the wind's picking up and the chickens and roosters are going crazy. But I'm gonna try to finish this video. My biggest advice would be to just get started. You really don't need all of these fancy things, but we wanted to go ahead and invest in something that would last us for a long time. And also make sure you're reading your seed packages because a lot of things like sweet peas and butterfly peas and runner beans need to be soaked overnight before planting. Now, lima beans and certain kinds of peas do not need to be soaked. Also, some things like mizuna, bok choy, amaranth, some of your lettuces and kale, they really like to be sown in place if possible. So I would encourage you to make sure you're reading to see what you can do in your area. We're in zone nine, so we have a bit of a longer growing season. So even some of the root vegetables like radish and onion, I prefer to sow directly into the beds if I can. It is so hot in Florida, so waiting till the evening has been the best for me to start seeds, but it does tend to get windy and a little blustery and it can also get rainy. So let's do our best to get these seeds started. Another great thing about these colors is that instead of having the little tags that you have to put in, you can just say, okay, all of my purples are going to be 
my black beauty tomato and all of my pinks are going to be my sweetheart cherry tomato so that makes it a little easier too with um, remembering what's in each tray I like to pre-soak before I start planting my seeds. So I've got all of my cups and trays filled and I'm gonna go ahead and give them some water, let them sit for a few minutes and then drop the seeds in. With these trays, you can also bottom water so that you're not disturbing the seeds or the seedlings when they're very small, which is nice. Once they're a little bit bigger, it doesn't matter as much. All right, the sun has already set and it's starting to get dark. So I'm going to go ahead and sow the seeds really quick while I still have some light. We're doing flowers in the more shallow burpee tray and in the two bootstrap farmer we're doing all of our squashes and zucchinis, tomato, and peppers. So I'm going to get that done, but thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't. We're going to be doing some garden tours and updates. We have a microgreen video coming out soon. So thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cool. I bought you 10 bags of what? Of compost. Yay. Are you going to put everything in the... Beds? We'll see. That's super exciting. I wish I had a light. I wish we could make our own compost. We're just not quite there yet. I also got you some sweet potatoes. <gasps> Whoa, that's awesome. Thank you. Suckers get flowers. What? Suckers get flowers for their ladies. Oh, yeah? Real men get vegetable plants. Real men get sweet potato starts. Farmer romance.